Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Mama Bears Homestead and More. Um, today is a very big learning curve for Dirk. Um, as you have seen in that one video where we had the bee swarm in the tree and I had some bees fly, flying around the nook, um, I might have went a little crazy that day and said, oh, I need bee keeping equipment. So I ordered a beehive, a bee suit, a beehive tools, the smoker, all that, that day. And it's funny because I um, thought, you know, I seen them, there's about 150 bucks for a beehive. And there was one for like 210. And I'm like, all right, that one costs a little more. Surely it comes put together. But guess what, guys? It didn't. Look at all this. There's 15,000 pieces in there. So that's my learning curve today. Uh, I'm going to build a beehive. All right, stick around, guys. Well, you guys, I ain't going to lie to you. I had to drag every piece out of this thing out of the box. There's wood scattered everywhere. Yeah, but uh, I think we're finally gaining ground on it. I got the the boxes themselves put together. They're dovetailed and then you drive these little finish nail looking things. And it's the only hammer I have <laughs> up here. I got this and I three pound sledgehammer. So I figured this would be the better option. Would you like a real hammer? No, this will work. Okay, I have two in my room at the store. See where my hammers are? Hey, those uh, come out of stuff that was donated to us that never left the store. Those are Mama Bear's hammers. Uh, but, um, yeah, all this stuff here is for the frames. And it, that might take me a little while. That's just a lot of glue and pieces, I think. <laughs> but uh, we'll get it figured out and tag along and watch me hammer some nails and then you're gonna say huh I know why you're a mill right and not a carpenter I hope my bees are very appreciative of, the, of their new hotel that I am constructing for them. I guess I also financed it for them too. And these boards are covered in some type of wax. And this wood here is covered in uh, wax. Probably beeswax, but I don't know. That's probably what I'd use if I was building a my new bee box. And after seeing this, I can build this. I can make one of these. It wouldn't be as fancy as this, because this is all dovetailed. And if you're cutting dovetail, you're above my pay grade. Or my my experience, but because anybody that's patient enough and can cut dovetail, they're pretty good. All right, we got that one box built, nailed up. So we're gonna get this one here. Get our screws or our nails 
here on my homestead i don't like screws very much so you won't see me use or <laughs> oops um here on my homestead i like screws preferably uh t torque heads or square head screws Get that side down. This part here ain't that bad to put together and stuff, assemble, but in frames that looks intimidating. But we'll get it. And if I run into trouble, I got two B guys that are very, very helpful. And they let me pick their minds. Guys, we got that one box nailed up so we got one more box and I think that's what you call the super to put together and nail up but I'm gonna set you guys down and rearrange all my stuff so I can put that box together and then I'll bring it back all right guys we got that last box assembled the dovetail portion portion so now we're going to start nailing it up yeah this is the um box that goes on the top and i think they call this the super so this is where you can extract all all your honey from i think i'm real good about jumping into something and then figuring it out That's where me and Natalie are great together because she's more of a, uh, let's figure out what we need to know. And then, but I'm the opposite. I'll jump in it and then figure it out. So, she keeps me pretty well grounded most of the time. And that's a good thing. Two to put on this end.
Left side, guys. Left side. I think Natalie's about to set her mama bear. About to declare war on the old chipmunk. He's eating her strawberries. Yeah, bad news bears for the uh, strawberry or the chipmunk. He's in trouble. I don't know if you can catch a chipmunk in a live, live box trap or not. All right, guys. Well, we got all our boxes built, so that was my hard part. I thought was going to be super hard, but. Uh, or I thought that was going to be the easiest part and the other part was just going to be uh, a nightmare but um, I think I got it figured out and this ain't going to be that bad but yeah let's keep on going well guys I am pretty sure I just completed my first super frame I've only got 30 more or 29 more to go I got this frame put together and now we're gonna nail it up. Take these little nails here. Got that uh, frame done, and I'm not by any means an expert on building beehive yet. But wow, there are a lot of pieces to them. What do you think, Mom? Boo? There was another worker bee packing in pollen. That's good. Big old chunks of pollen on his legs. Good. There's something so cool about standing there just letting them fly all around you. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, some people are act like they're scared of the honeybee. There's no need to be scared of a honeybee because they they're very, very docile. Uh, yes, they can sting you. But that's rare. Like, if... If you got near a swarm and one of them landed on you and you just like naturally reacted and just swatted at it, it would more than likely release its pheromones and its buddies would come help him. But other than, I mean, if you just stay calm and just stand there, oh, it's so cool. There's nothing like it. Just, yeah, just feeling the air yeah. of them buzzing by. and Yeah, they don't social distance very well because they're all up in your business. But yeah, they're just hanging out. Uh, flying in and out, bringing pollen in for the queen so she can lay eggs and they can have baby bees. And this is a cool fact that I learned. And a honeybee only lives for 45 days. Uh, but that's why you have to have the brood cone in there so the queen lays eggs so you're repopulating your bees. Uh, I never knew that. Actually, there's a lot I did not know about bees, but we're here to learn, and we're going to get this figured out. But well, looky there, guys. I got another uh, 
box a frame and frames put together now that's upside down because the short box that's always your top box and i got one more to go so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten frames more to build and then we're done but Yeah, that kind of gives you the gist, gist of how tall my beehive is going to be. It's three, three stories, I guess you could call it. But that, I think that's the bottom. And, um, and I'm going to elevate it up on some blocks or something. Um, but yeah, I'm super stoked with this way this turned out so all right i better get back to making some frames putting the frames together and yeah it's been real fun all right guys i'm gonna set you down and get back after it well just like that guys we have a beehive ready to roll um i just got off the phone with my bee mentor and i learned something today i didn't know from my other bee mentor um you have the three feet three mile rule um we have them bees down there in that nook um and we're gonna put our bee box over there in the bee garden there's probably 60 probably 125 yards away i can't take them from there and move them over there they'll get disoriented and fly off um so Luckily, my other bee mentor, he caught another swarm yesterday, I think he said. And Natalie, I think, give him... Well, I shouldn't say that because I don't know, but I'm going to go ahead and say that. But there was a guy posted on Facebook a swarm of bees on his rose bush or something. So we were tagged in it, and then Natalie turned around and tagged Brent in it, Brett in it, and... I think he went out there and got him. I hope he did. But um, anyway, he's going to bring that swarm here, take our swarm with him, and that will be the three miles. So that's kind of cool. I did not know that about bees. Three feet, three miles. Uh, but yeah, hopefully by the end of the week, this bad boy right here will have honeybees in it over in the bee garden. Um, yeah, I'm super pumped up about honey. Everybody loves honey. And a fun fact about honey is honey ha don't have a shelf life. It always good. It'll crystallize, but that don't mean it went bad. You just warm it back up and it turns back to honey. But honey is good forever. And we're going to have us some honey. Hopefully this year it's possible, but chances are no. Uh, will have because they'll have to keep what they produce depends how big the swarm is out actually but we'll um, chances are we won't be able to get honey this year but fingers crossed we will but if we don't I'm not that upset about it just because we have bees um, and I didn't have to buy bees we got wild local bees so yeah I'm going to leave it right there and keep on keeping on and I'm going to try to film putting the bees into the hive when we do that. So keep your eye out for that video. That's going to be a good one. And I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a bonus keep on keeping on because I rambled past the last one. See you friends.